guys! Welcome back to my channel! So for today's video, it's the final look I have. Kidding, okay? So obviously, as you can see on the title, this is the video all about. This is again, it's on the eye makeup. It's all because you guys know how I do my face makeup and all that stuff. But yes, I am trying some different tricks and techniques and stuff just to spice it up a little bit because this is always fun to try out new uh, techniques and stuff for foundation and also mixing up and whatsoever. You always get to play with makeup and the good thing is if you don't like it, it always washes off. So anyways, let's stop rambling, let's stop rambling about all this stuff and let's just jump into the tutorial. But before you leave, don't forget to hit that button right there. Don't don't judge my nail, okay? I'm talking about to click the button right there somewhere here. Uh, it's calling calling you to subscribe out there before you leave and join my online family I have on YouTube and I will be more than happy to welcome you here with all the crazy makeup lovers we are here, okay? To put my makeup on, I literally have to come more closer just to make sure I am a nice and tight and zoomed in so you can see my face properly. So just to make sure you can see me nice and close up. So let's jump into the eye makeup. So okay, today I'm going to use my Vizier Dark Matte Palette. They are a little bit pricey again but they are a little bit more on like investment rather than just buying random shadows I would say like like stop buying random products instead save your money and actually invest on a good product which is gonna be amazing and also at the same time which works like beyond imagination you know what I mean so okay to start off on this palette I will be using this color they unfortunately don't have any name so I can't really refer to the name but that's why I'm just showing you what is the color I'm trying to use. Obviously on my BH Fluffy Blending Brush, I'm trying to use this uh, light brown chocolatey kind of color. Look at the fallout. Not too much. <laughs> so I'm trying to close my eye obviously and just roughly running it towards my eye crease and fanning it upward. This is just one done. Like literally, I just dumped it once and look at the color here. And I'm going very, very sparingly. I'm not even like going in. So I'm just repeating the same process on my left eye, just dumping it one more time on that color with my BH Fluffy Blending Brush. And I'm just running it all over my crease and putting it the transition color. I'll take this color right here. See, I'm still going on to purple. But yeah, I'm gonna take this color on a Sigma E40 brush and going right over the shade I just did, but concentrating more toward my crease. I'm not trying to put too much on there, it's just because the purple is literally just gonna be something to darken it up a little bit more. And also kind of like a guideline on where I want the shadows to go like. And again, repeat the same process on your left eye, just tuck it in on your crease and blend it out okay. using the same Sigma E40 brush. Now I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is like a navy blue. So now I'm gonna place that color on my eyelid, and pretty much this will be the color going on all over my eyelid. Place a little bit of color at once and build it up as much as you need to, and yeah, do the same process on your other eye. I'm taking the Morphe M433 brush. This is how it looks like. Sorry, it's a little bit dirty, but do I care? No, because this is still going to a darker color. Now I'm taking this darker navy blue. Kind of trying to tuck it on the outer V and blend it out. 
send it anywhere. taking my Sigma E40 and I'm going back with this shade right here. Going lightly on the edge just to make sure it's blocked out. Now I'm taking my BH28 uh, Foil Eyes Palette and this blue kind of shimmery shade I'm gonna begin with and I'm gonna take that on my index finger and pressing that color on the top of that deep blue I did just to pop that color a little bit more because I wanted to make it more blue rather than more darker blue if you want. so as you can see I'm placing that color a little bit at a time and now I'm taking the sky blue kind of shimmery shade from the palette very very affordable so okay. so take your hands on and you see the color. I probably can't say anymore because this is literally the color which was making my eyes pop that blue color so now I'm taking that color with my eyes with my finger obviously uh, so again I'm just gonna place that color on top of all the colors I just did and concentrating more on the bottom lid area. So I'm not really taking it up to my crease, it's because I didn't want the blue to go all over my eyelid. Now I'm gonna take that minty green kind of shadow. I know it looks literally like a white shadow but it's a minty green. But I'm gonna take this shadow on my index finger and right on top of that blue, and this will make the eyes pop a little bit more. So as you can see, it changes the eye color immediately and makes it more popping. I'm gonna get my liner and lashes and I am back. So I'm using Becca Jacqueline Hell Champion Pop as my highlighter and uh, with a, I think, Anastasia Beverly Hills 823 brush. And I'm just uh, highlighting wherever I want to. And the lashes I'm using are Intoxicating by Flutter. In case you are wondering, I'm getting my hair down because I think now it's the time where I can let myself get down. And uh, set my face and I'm fine. You can actually have any single lip color you want to do. I want to keep it a little bit more So I'm going with the pink and 